Crafters. I'm Lisa Fulmer. Great to see you. Can I just tell you something? Mixed media is my favorite thing in the whole world. I love it so much because it's all about texture, it's all about color, it's all about experimenting with new products and new techniques and new materials and there's just no rules and you can't go wrong and it's just so liberating. So I would like to show you how to take some different mixed media techniques and create a beautiful lid to a storage box or a gift box and turn it into an art panel. You could even take this box that's narrow enough and hang it on the wall like an art panel. So let me show you how. The first thing we want to do is paint the box inside and out with your base color and in this case I chose brown. I also wanted to make the lid a little more sturdy because I'm going to be layering some materials on top and I don't want it to cave in in the center so I've painted a separate piece of cardboard and I trimmed it to size and I'm putting it right inside the lid and I'm going to glue that down to give it a little extra rigidity. So now let's decorate the lid. I wanted to work with gold for the background of the lid so I started with a coat of white gesso so that I get the nicest gold color possible and now I'm blending some gold paint with some texture medium that has a sand kind of a gritty finish to it. Once you've blended enough paint and medium to cover your lid you may find that using a palette knife is a little easier. It becomes kind of like spreading a cake. When you have texture medium, sometimes it can clump up your brush. So depending on the surface that you want, try different tools. I really enjoy working with a palette knife as well as a brush. And I'm just gonna spread it out nice and flat. One of the things I really like about working with paints blended with medium is that medium extends the open time of the paint. And what that means is that you can work longer before the paint starts to dry. So with mixed media, that's the, the name of the game right there, is because you want time to play, you want time to experiment. And um, what I'm doing right now is with this palette knife is I'm just creating some tapping motions to create some, some uh, diagonal lines, some sort of cross hatching all the way around the edges. And I've actually removed some of the medium from the center and pushed it out so it's thicker around the edges because I know I'm going to be embellishing the center with some layering. So the first layer of my embellishment in the center of the box is going to be a piece of cardboard that I've cut into a square and I'm going to show you how to create this really great crosshatch striping technique. And I've um, blended two colors, a little bronze and a little gold, and we're going to uh, use a striping brush to paint onto this piece of cardboard. The thing I love about the striping brush is that you can kind of start and stop and create these really great patterns. And you can go left to right, top to bottom, and just have fun creating a pattern. After that's dry and you've trimmed it out to the size you want, finish it off on the edges with a paint marker. I've chosen a really nice copper color. So I've got the cardboard, paper, I've got this a rustic metal star. I've got this acrylic crown and a glass bezel that I'm embellishing the crown with. And I'm painting the acrylic crown with alcohol ink and giving it sort of a marbleized effect. And that's really easy to do with a little alcohol ink on your applicator. And it's just a tapping motion. And as the alcohol ink dries, you continue to tap at it and that starts creating a marble texture and the more you tap as the drier it gets you end up with this really great texture. Now what I realized as I started to layer these things together is that on top of the brown you completely lose the color and the marbleizing of the crown. So that's why I took a sheet of white paper, traced out the crown and we'll use a little clear gel tacky glue to glue that into place and now you can see the lovely marbleized bronze texture of the acrylic and we're going to layer that right on top of the star. So now my lid is dry, my texture medium has this wonderful stucco finish, I've glued down my uh, embellishments in the center and now I'm just going to finish off the edge with some metal copper tape and I'm just running it right along the edge. It's self adhesive, so I'm just peeling back the strip and lining it up. 
nice and even to give it a really nice finished edge. I hope you enjoyed that. I sure enjoyed sharing it with you. My name is Lisa Fulmer and I think it's cool to craft. <laughs>